What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. And while I usually talk about fashion on this channel, today I want to take a few minutes to say goodbye to our LA home here in Hollywood. My fiance Hilda and I have lived here for about a year and a half, a little more than that. And this is in part for me to remember the place and for you guys to see how I live. I've done these in the past and you like them, so I thought we'll do another one. And if you're also randomly interested in renting this place, it will be available. So info for that is down below. And now I'm gonna put on my best real, real, really realtor real estate voice and pop inside and I'll walk you through the house. So this is a four bedroom duplex house with three floors. So a lot of stairs, which is great for the legs and the booty. Right up front, we have the entryway. And with that, my shoe storage, which is massive because I love shoes and this is not even all of them. This is a nice little cabinet from Ikea. And then on this side right here, you have a little jacket stand as well as from LG. I call it a steam closet. Basically, it just refreshes your clothes. So I have that right here by the entrance. And then on this level, we have two things. We have the guest bedroom, which is actually currently inhibited by the cameraman behind the camera. Vic is staying here and we have the garage. So let's check out the guest room, then the garage, and then we'll head upstairs. So in here, super simple. We had a king bed, simple shelf up top with a few um, pieces of art, nothing crazy, a uh, nightstand. Then we've got Vic set up right over here with the computer office chair and desk and a nice set of drawers here also from Ikea, which we actually sanded and stained ourselves. So this used to be a lot lighter. We made it dark because it just felt better for the room. A little home pod in here, which is the only speaker in this house that's not Sonos because I figured, you know, the guest bedroom should have its own little music thing. Here we have the first walkthrough closet. Walk through because you can walk in it and then through it to the bathroom. Also arguably the messiest of them all just because here's all of my boots and then here's all of Vic's stuff. Obviously it's the guest room, it's temporary, so you know, it gets better once we get upstairs. And then in here we have the bathroom, which I think is super nice. Uh, stand in, shower, little tub. You like it? Love it. Loves it. Phenomenal. Please beep that out, thank you. So now, I'm actually really proud. It's a weird thing to be proud of. It was the first time I ever had a garage, and um, I went full dad mode on the garage, so I'm gonna actually send you guys outside, and then I'll show you the garage. Ah. My little man garage, right front and center. We've got my motorcycle. It's a Triumph Thruxton with a bunch of custom work to it. I love this thing. I've been promising you I'll do a motorcycle tour and show you around this. Haven't done it, but I promise you I'll get to it eventually. So what I love about this is just trying to use the walls and actually get everything out the way. So I have a lot of space here to walk, uh, to move around. So back here, we've got very important beer pong table. Uh, a little beach chair, some beach accessories, a couple beach umbrellas, my snowboard, which these things I got on Amazon are super dope. Just two little knobs that like basically you slide your snowboard into. My snowboarding backpack, a little beach volleyball net. And on this side is a bunch of storage cubes. These are from Ikea once again. Uh, my motorcycle helmets up top, a little bit of lighting and you know, photo gear back here. And then on this side is uh, where it gets pretty active. We got the snowboard boots up here couple of e-scooters with extra tires my city row rower love this thing so I tend to move everything out here and then into the little parking spot that I have by the entrance to work out all the workout gear very important spike ball sick game if you've never played it please do uh, a little workout bench and then this I take either right here or to the park to get my workout in super durable it's a gorilla cart um, I think it's called a gorilla cart maybe it's not it's called a gorilla cart I nailed this. Um, my workout backpack with a bunch of elastic bands and stuff in there. And then over here, we got... <laughs> it's like 70 bucks or something. Like a fairly cool little boxing uh, thing that doesn't cost a lot and you don't have to hang anywhere. Bunch of balls because balls are cool. And uh, more, more stuff. It's not super orderly, but trust me, it's looked worse. And it's also looked better. Lastly, we got a couple skateboards hung right here. That's how they're hanging, which I think is pretty cool. This is a skateboard I broke my collarbone on. That's what that looks like now. And now you're probably ready to actually see the apartment, huh? so let's go do that. Actually, I lied. There's one more thing I need to show you down here, and that is the backyard, which is shared with our neighbors, but our neighbors are super cool, so that's really nice. This desk is way too big for the space, technically, so it's kind of blocking the door. 
That's a sliding door so we can still get out. So if we just squeeze through here, this is super nice. Once they moved in, which is about a, a year into us living here, they actually did the turf. They did that little privacy shade thingy. They painted the bricks white and uh, installed a little projector right here so we can actually project against that wall, which is super cool. I brought this nice little outdoor table here with a few chairs and then there's a fire pit back there. There's massive Jenga. So it's nice to just step outside, it's LA. It gets really nice and warm in the summer and right now it's the winter and look at me and I'm not remotely cold. So it's really nice to have this space. But now it's finally time to head inside and check out the kitchen first. Along the stairs, quick little reminder, good things are coming, always. And then we've got the first of many mirrors. I'm a Leo, that's my son, so any mirror I always kind of like, gotta make sure the fit is on point, you know? Coming into this massive kitchen, that's probably gonna be a big, big adjustment for us. We're moving back to New York to a two bedroom apartment, which I'll also be showing you. But this is um, so much storage space and we still have some stuff on the counter somehow. A little bit of fruit, Nutribullet, very important for the protein shakes. A Sonos speaker so you can cook and get your jam on. Um, you know, it's kitchen stuff. I'm not super excited about kitchen stuff. What I am excited about is this. It's the first time I ever had a fridge that you could just pop right in and like get some fresh water. So I thought that was pretty cool. My espresso machine, arguably my best friend. There is every morning, she's there for me. And once we turn around, we see it opening up into Alexa, turn on all lights. Cool, right? <laughs> Wait, is it cool? There it is. I think that one blew. But it's fine, we're moving out anyway. So here we have the living area, a concrete table from CB2, unfortunately not available anymore, but absolutely love that. Two more of the chairs that you saw outside, they're indoor and outdoor chairs. In the corner right here, we have a Peace Lily, her name is Lily, in a beautiful, also concrete, like white concrete pot from CB2 as well. A couple of uh, four mismatched wooden chairs and a little bit of decor right here. Hilda actually managed to wrap these cables in twine herself, which I think looks really, really dope. We went for these Edison bulbs, even though the one's not working. I think they look really cool. On the other side, we have a little Hilda corner where she has a tiny little desk where she can do some work. A few of her memorabilia right here. And then also one of her hair boxes. Look at that. It's my fiance, let's go. Behind me, we've got, well, one, the Gita Mini. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this. This little robot that follows you around and carries your stuff, which is super dope. But here we have the living area. Uh, we have from, I believe this was from West Elm, a nice couch in mineral green with some brass. And then from CB2, this nice coffee table with wood, glass, and metal. In the corner, a nice industrial looking light. And then my Samsung TV as well as a really nice easel TV stand. I have another one of those. I really like the aesthetic of these. I think they look dope. They offer a good amount of storage and they don't take up massive amounts of space as other media consoles tend to do. PS5, Xbox, Switch, all the things you need to game. And then the first of three balconies plus the backyard. Obviously the same type of view, not really any view, but a couple of chairs if you wanna step outside. And I wanna say hi to the neighbors, you can do that as well pop back inside. So here, Sonos surround sound system connecting to the kitchen speaker as well and connecting to upstairs as well. I like my music and I like it everywhere and anytime. Over here we have the guest bathroom, a little corner with my memorabilia. So we've got like a few places that I've traveled before. Uh, we got a record player, some old cameras, old phones, my first license plate in America, which I'm pretty sure I should have sent back to the DMV, but <laughs> let's just disregard that for now. Here we got the guest bathroom. Nice little hanging plant that Hilda set up. Her name is Angela. A nice little decor right here, super simple. It's a guest bathroom, it's nothing fancy. And with that, am I forgetting something? Ah, I'll show you it. <laughs> it's a little laundry room, it doesn't do much. It's not, I didn't really prep it for this video either. By the way, this house looks like this about two to 5% of the time. Sometimes, like a lot of the times, a lot worse, but I also didn't go all the way above. Like this is, it looks like this sometimes. Like this is somewhat real. Here we got, we had an old kitchen island, a bunch of stuff here. Like I said, not very well sorted and a massive washer dryer. It's cool to have a little laundry room. Definitely something I won't be having in New York. And then one more flight of stairs. We're supposed to have gotten some art for here and some art for here. Not that never happened, but there's some art up here. So if you just follow me, you see Olivia from Olive, no, not Olivia, Olive Oil from Popeye. Got it, last minute save. From my boy Lando, I've got two of his pieces. You'll see the second one in a little bit. This was my Valentine's Day present to Hilda. And the idea behind it is the face is actually metallic, so you can see your own skin color on these characters, which is something that in early cartoons just wasn't happening, and I thought that was a really dope piece. Um, 
to have. And then in here we have the master bedroom. This is where Hilda and I sleep. You got another king size bed, a couple of nightstands. Like I said, there's going to be another TV slash another easel. So that's right here. This is the room that gets the most light, which frankly we sh should have thought through. Like we just come here to sleep. That's the one room we don't need light in. But it is the lightiest room regardless. And then we here we have balcony number two, which is really small. But it's really cute and it also has the best view because it actually has a view. You get some palm trees and in the distance, you just have to trust me that there's downtown LA. On top of our bed, we have what Hilda gave me for our first Valentine's Day, which is the night sky star constellation moment and location of our first kiss, which I thought was super cute and romantic. The bed is from Macy's actually for like 1200 bucks. It's a storage king size bed frame, which I thought was a good deal. In here we have Hilda's walk-in closet. I'm not gonna show you it because it's a complete mess. I could have taken care of that, but I didn't. Then we have these little things. One, each of us have them. They're from Renfo. They're like eye socket massage thingies for great for migraines and headaches. Also just really relaxing. And a bunch of different things for a comfortable night's sleep. A set of drawers, a couple of shelves, which just different things and books and stuff. And then we have Hilda's bathroom right here. So she has a little outside area and then her toilet and her shower. Because I live more in LA, I got the bigger bathroom and it's also the one that's away from the bedroom because I tend to wake up earlier so I can shower without waking her up. And we have two more rooms, like I said, four bedroom. Um, the first one being my office slash fake creative space like you see first thing you see is the guitar and my keyboard honestly they're more decoration i used to i used to try and like learn it a lot more but lately i've just been looking at them and they look great um and i actually put this keyboard on a uh, wood shelf so i wouldn't have an ugly stand just in there which i thought was pretty cool never seen, seen it before and just kind of proud of myself um same wood three more times with that black steel piping in the bottom some books some decor nice little coffee bag in case you like coffee much as i do an accent chair in the corner a little storage area right here with empty bottles of alcohol sick man and then on the other side is where i actually do spend a lot of time that's my setup got three screens one vertical got my nice chair a little beat pad which i also don't use all the musical things in here i, I just i wish i was using all the time but i just don't um, my ipad i got a little microphone right here for my voiceovers for the other videos and then back here it's getting a little crazy because we're also getting into my closet so here i have all of my jackets just jackets not coats or anything just the jackets random storage some colognes and then my fitness stuff like my yoga fitness stuff i do yoga every morning at least right now um there's a roller some mats uh and more storage so this is kind of like i don't really look at this corner when i'm in here i just like to act like this is my room yeah, over here we have a last little shelf with me. I know, very Leo move. Look, it's me. And with some accessories, but I actually had to move most of them over there into my studio slash closet. This room, if you follow the channel, you're most familiar with. This is where I shoot my YouTube videos. So this rack you see all the time, exactly this angle. My boy Frank right here, he's got a cool little crossbody bag on. Looking good, my friend. This rack you don't see a lot. This is basically my assistant rack. It's holding extra hangers and stuff and any clothes that I, uh, if I work on several videos at the same time, then they'll live here. Doesn't look great, but it's very functional. Here we have a couch from Article and then a commissioned piece of work. My boy, Lando Griffin, the suited racer on Instagram. He is both the subject as well as the artist. Absolutely love it. Fashion and motorcycles. It's where I'm at and where he's at and what connects us and I just like it. I think it's a really dope piece. Then we have a coffee table that does this. So a storage coffee table. Did not clean in here. And uh, another espresso machine because another Nespresso machine because I'm a coffee addict, 100%. And equally messy, we have another little thing of camera gear. Lenses, cameras, cards and cables and chargers and teleprompters and shoulder rigs and uh, just a whole lot of stuff but it's all black in a black thing, so you can't really see how messy it is if you just glance at it, so I, I like that setup. Here's the light. I just let that lean in the corner because I'm too lazy to put it away properly. Another mirror. There he is. And if you turn around, um, you see, well, actually, let me talk about this first. We've got a, a barn door that I installed myself. It was around, I think, 200 bucks on Amazon. Love the aesthetic of it, and it was the first time I did something like it 
love it. Once again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that, as well as this corner, which up here we have my dress shirts, down here we have my suits. Once again, on black steel piping, which I buy, clean, assemble, and drill in myself. The fourth or fifth time that I've done that in an apartment that I was living in. And then we have another walkthrough closet, a bit more orderly than the one that we saw downstairs. My pants and jeans, my t-shirts, my printed short sleeve shirts. I would put them with my dress shirts, but they're just like, louder and they just don't look as clean as those do. So this is kind of like why I hide them. Uh, my hoodies, my sweatshirts, my polos, my sweaters, and then up here a few more accessories. So here I got my hats and beanies. Here I've got my caps. Here I've got my sunglasses and here I've got more jewelry, including a little travel pouch that I got from away, which I think is amazing. You got your rings up here and then a few different compartments down there. Right now, I didn't bother to make it look super nice because honestly, it would just not be authentic. This is always a mess. This room is most of the time a mess because this is where the magic happens. And then uh, we're not going to really end on this. The last two things we're ending on are kind of like boring a little bit. We got my bathroom. There's a couple things I want to point out. I got this light from Amazon, which I think is really Really nice because this is just way too bright for me and especially in the evening I like to just have it be more warm light and more mellow and then I installed two of these little grid shells which I think look really really dope I know you're not supposed to have your cologne in there please don't leave a comment about it I have done it for many years and I personally do not have as big as my nose is do not have the refinement to smell that like these are going bad so I just leave them in here because this is where I get ready for the day including putting on my cologne got my skincare products my hair products so hair skin teeth <laughs> beard um, and then more skincare and a bunch more down here but I'm like no no I'm not gonna show you it's a complete mess and then we have one more balcony that opa we have one more balcony that has nothing on it that I think I've stepped out onto maybe like three times the entire time I've lived here. I'm not even gonna show you outside, but I got these cool little blackout curtains so I can control the light when I do shoot my videos in here. This is where I live. Live, it's over, it's done. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm really excited to get back to New York. I hope you guys like this little walkthrough. Um, if you see anything that looks interesting to you or you want a link for something that I talked about that you guys like, please let me know. I'll, I'll try and get uh, on that as soon as possible. But I'm really excited to be back in New York City. I'll actually be living in my apartment, but I'll also be renting a office slash studio. So there's going to be a bunch more dope content coming from two very different, um, you know, apartments slash setups. So thank you guys for uh, watching this. I hope you like hanging out with me and checking out my home and I will see you guys very soon with the next video that's going to be fashion focused again, promise. Um, oh, sh this is something all of you want to know. How much am I paying for this and how big is this? I believe this is 1400 square foot spread out over three levels and my monthly rent for this was $5,500. I don't love to talk about money much, but I think it's very like at the same time, like why is it such a weird topic? Let's just talk about it and then you guys know what's up and you know what $5,500 gets you in Los Angeles. So one more time, thank you. See you soon. As always, stay dapper, I guess.